Hello everybody, it's James, and on behalf of Neptic Fathers, I figured I'd bring you all another book review. And today, instead of talking about a theology book or uh, just a book about history or something like that, I'd bring up something that's of the fiction world. I almost never read fiction, but when I do, it's normally something Orthodox-inspired or something like Tolkien's Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, or like C.S. Lewis. Um, mostly, basically, um, I'm only a fan of high fantasy when it comes to fiction, although I've read like Dostoevsky, um, Crime and Punishment, I think, when I was in high school, if I remember properly, but then I've also read Dostoevsky's uh, Brothers Karamazov uh, since becoming Orthodox. So I'm going to cover the Raven Sun book series and by Nicholas Kotar. So this is The Song of the Siren. Here's book one. Book two, The Curse of the Raven. Book three, The Heart of the World. Book four, The Forge of the Covenant. And book five, The Throne of the Gods. So this series has a lot of symbology in it, and I'd highly recommend reading Father Stephen D. Young's The Religion of the Apostles as a primer in order to kind of get some of the symbolism that's in here, because having read the series first and then read The Religion of the Apostles, I thought it would be actually really interesting to read that book, and having read that book, to go back and actually read the Raven Sun series. So this is a high fantasy series, and I actually prefer it to uh, The Lord of the Rings and The Chronicles of Narnia, just because the orthodox inspiration that's behind it. And uh, I'd say that I, the writing's better for uh, The Lord of the Rings and The Chronicles of Narnia, but I, I prefer like the symbology and the, the influence that's in these books. So a lot of the uh, like creatures in it and the ethos is... Um, inspired by like Russian fairy tales um, and orthodoxy. And so when you read through it, you can definitely get the spiritual tradition that's in orthodoxy in these books. So I won't go into too much detail because I don't want to give any spoilers. So I'll read the back of the first book here, The Song of the Siren. Um, this is actually the favorite, uh, my favorite book of the set. And then I'll also say the, the Curse of the Raven Sun is also kind of like a 1984 mix with high fantasy. And, um, and uh, I guess I should also point out that not all these books are the same thickness. Some of these are actually quite thin. Uh, so, uh, But putting them all together, they probably equal about the same as the Lord of the Rings series or as the Chronicles of Narnia. Okay, so the back of the book here. Vorn can't help but believe the rumors, as blight ravages the countryside and darkness covers the sun. The young warrior of Vasilia hears of an ancient spirit that devours souls. He feels powerless to fight the oncoming devastation until a mythical creature entrusts him with a long, forgotten song. Legend has it that such a song can heal the masses, overthrow kingdoms, and raise humans to divine beings. Armed with the memory of the song, Vorin must hunt down a dark spirit before it achieves its goal of immortality. His quest takes him through doorways to other worlds and puts him on a collision course with seductive nymphs and riddling giants. With each step of the journey, the strength of the villainous spirit grows, as, doors, as does Vorin's fear that the only way to save his world is to let it be destroyed. So I highly recommend this series, and I definitely recommend supporting Nicholas Kotar, and he also has some great uh, lectures and podcasts that he does on Ancient Faith and also on YouTube, and I recommend checking those out. So this is James, and until next time, signing out.